In this lecture, we are going to understand the formula to find out the highest power of a prime number in the given factorial. And this is the type 2 of the problems asked in the examination from the chapter number systems. So now we will move on to our discussion. Let's say p is the prime number whose power, the highest power, we want to calculate in n factorial. The highest power of p in n factorial is equal to n over p power 1 plus n over p power 2 plus n over p power 3 plus and so on. So using this formula, we can have the highest power of prime number p in n factorial. Now regarding this formula, there are two important points. The first point is, after the division, take only the integer part. This means, when you perform the division, then after the division, take the integer part and then do the addition. For example, if n is equal to 7, we will have 7 factorial. And if p is equal to prime number 2, then we need to find the highest power of 2 in 7 factorial. Then focusing on the first term, we will have 7 divided by 2 power 1, which is 2. So 7 divided by 2, we will have 3.5. Now here we have two parts. 3 is the integer part and 5 is the decimal part. We need to take the integer part, that is 3, and we need to reject the decimal part, which is 0.5. And the same process we will follow after performing the rest of the divisions. So I hope point number 1 is clear. Let us now move on to point number 2. Ignore the term and the preceding terms when the numerator is less than the denominator. Now this point is an important point and this point we have obtained from the first point itself. According to this point, when the numerator is less than the denominator, we can ignore that term and the preceding terms. Let us try to understand the reason for this. We will take the same scenario, n is equal to 7 and p is equal to 2. Now focus on this term, n over p cube. n is 7, p is 2, so we have 2 power 3 and 2 power 3 is equal to 8. The numerator is 7, the denominator is 8, numerator is less than the denominator and from here when you perform the division, you will have 0 0.875 and as per our rule number 1, we will select the integer part and we will reject the decimal part. So we are getting 0 from this term and adding 0 to these two terms, the result is not going to get affected. And when you consider the next term, which is n over p power 4, again you are going to have the integer part equal to 0. So we can say that whenever the numerator is less than the denominator, the integer part is going to be 0 from rule number 1. And that is why we can neglect that particular term and the preceding terms. So this is what we mean by point number 2. So in this way, we are done with understanding the formula. And now we will move on to our problem number 1. In this problem, we need to find the power of 2 in 4 factorial. So here 2 is our prime number p and 4 is our number n. And the power of 2 in 4 factorial will be equal to 4 divided by 2 power 1 plus 4 divided by 2 power 2. 2 power 2 is equal to 4. Numerator and denominator both are same. We will consider the next term 4 divided by 2 power 3. 2 power 3 is equal to 8. The denominator is larger than the numerator. So we will stop here. Now moving on to the calculation part. 4 when divided by 2 will give us 2. 4 when divided by 4 will give us 1. 4 when divided by 8 will give us the integer part equal to 0. So we have 3 as the answer. So the power of 2, which is the highest power, don't forget this, this is the highest power of 2 in 4 factorial is equal to 3. Now moving on to our problem number 2, we need to find the power which is the highest power of 3 in 80 factorial. 
so in this case our prime number is 3 and number n is equal to 80 we will find out the highest power of prime number 3 in 80 factorial this will be equal to 80 divided by 3 power 1 you can keep checking the formula how we are following it then we will have 80 divided by 3 power 2 3 power 2 is equal to 9 less than 80 plus 80 divided by 3 power 3 3 power 3 is equal to 27 still the numerator is larger 80 divided by 3 power 4 3 power 4 is equal to 81 81 is larger than 80 denominator is larger now so we will stop here and we will perform the calculation 80 when divided by 3 will give us 26.67 keeping the integer part we will have 26 plus 80 when divided by 9 will give us 8.89 keeping the integer part we will have 8 80 when divided by 27 will give us 2.96 keeping the integer part we will have 2 and 80 when divided by 81 will give us the integer part equal to 0 when you perform the addition you will have the final answer equal to 36 so the highest power of prime number 3 in 80 factorial is equal to 36 so this is all for problem number 2 and now we will move on to our homework problem in the homework problem you are required to find the highest power of prime number 7 in 400 factorial so try to solve this problem and once you have your answer post it in comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one